بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہائی اٹس می حمزان اور اینڈ یو آر واچنگ کمپیوٹر ایجوکیشن پاکستان ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈو دا پارٹ سکس آف یونٹ تھری آور ورلڈ اینڈ پولیوشن فرام دا بک آف گریٹ نائن ایکٹیویٹیز سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ رائٹ این ایس اے آن قائد اعظم محمد علی جنا ود دا ہیلپ آف دا گیون آؤٹ لائن آؤٹ لائننگ فارمیٹ فار رائٹنگ این ایس اے آن قائد اعظم Now first of all you should know uh, what is outlining it is used for summarizing the important points of a text or to develop an initial plan for a piece of writing the details are listed from general to specific guideline clearly define the topic in your mind think for points and classify them now number 1 is introduction brief biography his services for the muslim is of the subcontinent charismatic personality combined all good qualities of head and heart what we owe to him so let's start introduction muhammad ali jinnah the founder of pakistan was born on december 25 1876 in a house known as wazir mansion located in karachi his father's name was jinnah punja and mother was mithi bai He belongs to a merchant family. He was a great politician and a well-known lawyer of his time. He struggled a lot for the freedom of the Muslims of the subcontinent and on the behalf of his extraordinary efforts. He was rewarded with the title of Qaid-e-Azam, the father of the nation by Maulana Mazharuddin. Biography. Qaid-e-Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah received his early education from Sindh Madra- uh, Madrasatul Islam and Christian Missionary School. He went to England for higher education and got admission at Lincoln's Inn Law School in London. At the age of 20, he enrolled in Bombay High Court when he came back to British India. He was the youngest one to enter the bar where he started to take interest in political affairs of the nation and became famous in the next 3 years. The advocate general of Bombay invited him to work for his bar after, and after 6 months offered a salary of 15,000 uh, 1500 rupees per month which was the huge amount that time but he gently refu- uh, refused the offer and stated that he pla- planned to earn 1500 daily and proved it possible in future by his flawless efforts but as a governor general of newly state pakistan he fixed 1 rupee as his monthly salary he was the man of the judiciary and sensible personality his services for the muslims of the subcontinent Jinnah started his political career with Indian National Congress in 1906. Then after seven years, he joined the Muslim League. He struggled a lot to bring Congress and Muslim League to work together. But at the same time, he found the culture of racialism in the subcontinent and realized that the Muslims of the subcontinent are sacrificing their cultural and social rights under the British and Hindus. then he started his efforts for the freedom of muslims of british india and planned to create an independent state where muslims could feel the breath of freedom the major strength was the unity of all muslims organizations in this freedom war and it is the leadership of qaid e azam which unites all the muslims of the subcontinent on the same agenda of having a separate state The creation of Pakistan is the result of bloodshed of thousands of freedom fighters as well as the leadership of Jinnah Pakistan would not come into being without him. Charismatic personality. He was a man of his words and the greatest spokesman. He always stood like a rock in front of opponents and never lay down. Gandhi called him an impossible man due to his determin- uh, determinacy over his principles. Jena said think a hundred times before you make a decision but once that decision is taken stand by it as one man in 19 uh, in 1930 he became an undisputed leader of all the muslims of subcontinent and started to lead muslim league in 1933 in 1940 pakistan resolution was drafted by muslim league at minare pakistan lahore which has been proved as a backbone in the war of freedom combined all good qualities of head and heart after the pakistan resolution passed he worked day and night and did not worry very about his health which was going down day by day but he kept it secret and never disclosed it to anyone 
His sacrifice was not for his own interest but for the whole Muslim nation. It was due to his wise leadership and vigorous effort that Pakistan came into being on August 14, 1947. He was fighting the tuberculosis for many years but never made it his weakness. Died on September 11, 1948, just 13 months after the creation of his beloved homeland. What we owe to him We, the people of Pakistan, owe it to Muhammad Ali Jinnah to follow in letter and in spirit his vision of Pakistan as a modern democratic welfare state with a well-written constitution. It was the commitment of our founding fathers Jinnah, Alam Iqbal and other members of all the India Muslim League that citizens today live in an independent country. It must, however, be understood that freedom comes at a cost and we must ensure that the constitution reigns supreme and no individual is able to subvert it or think of himself as above it. So that is it for today's lesson. Subscribe to our channel Compare Education Pakistan. Like this video if you enjoyed. Press the bell icon so you can get our latest notifications. And also like our Facebook page Compare Education Pakistan. Allah Hafiz.